Hey, shalom everyone, this is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda ben Shemer, and welcome to the Daily Drosh. Today's Daily Drosh, we're going to be in Luke chapter 10, and I want to talk about the story Yeshua told about the Good Samaritan, a story that we know very well regarding a Jewish man traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho, and on his way, uh, he was mugged. He was robbed uh, and left for dead by these bandits. And so uh, bringing up this topic in the story, I want to talk about what truly serving God is, what true religion is. Um, uh, we've kind of we've kind of lost sight and lost focus of what that really is today. And so we know that uh, as he was laying there uh, half dead, that um, you know a, a, uh, a Levitical priest passed by, saw the man, and passed over on the other side. Well, a Levitical priest is considered uh, a, a, an ambassador of God, a man of God. After all, he, he sacrifices in the temple, he works in the temple, therefore he's very close to God. Uh, so why didn't this Levitical priest help this his Jewish brother who had been robbed and mugged and left half dead? In his mind, he was probably thinking, if I, you know, I'm a Levitical priest, I have a schedule, I have a duty, I have a timetable, I have to be at the temple at a certain time, I've got to stay ritually clean and ritually pure in order to serve in the temple. If I take time to stop to help my Jewish brother who's been robbed, mugged, left half dead, I would therefore make myself ritually unclean and not be able to perform the sacrifices in the temple and service in the temple, which is more important, helping this this Jewish brother of mine, or serving God in the temple. And he was thinking that the service of God in the temple w was more valuable than helping his fellow Jewish human being. But that's not the way God sees it, and that's not the way Yeshua told it. But that was his reasoning. He says, by not helping this Jewish brother of mine, I am serving God because I'm keeping myself richly pure in order to serve at the temple. Well, that's just really a lame excuse. Um, and, and, and we know that a, a temple servant, um, another Levite came along. He wasn't a priest, but he was a, a, a temple attendant, and he probably thought the same thing. You know, uh, He's like, well, I can't, I can't inconvenience myself and make myself virtually impure. Therefore, I would forfeit my time of service at the temple. Uh, but there is a principle in Judaism that is, has been a long-standing tradition. It's called life over law, that you are able to actually break the commands of Torah if a life is at stake, if it's a life or death situation. Uh, and so uh, who ended up helping this Jewish man that was mugged, robbed, and left half dead? It was a Samaritan. A Samaritan was a half-breed Jew. They were despised by full-blooded Jews. They weren't considered legitimate. Um, you know, there was there was a hatred and a prejudice and an animosity between the Jews and the Samaritans uh, because these half-breed Jews were not given any legitimacy or status in Israel or in the Jewish religion. So they kind of made their own version of the Jewish faith and Jewish religion. But despite the prejudice, despite the hatred between these two ethnicities, it was a Samaritan who stopped and helped this Jewish man that was dying. And he used his own money and resources and time. He was probably a merchant, probably a businessman, on his way you know, to conduct business somewhere or trade. And he used his own wine and his own uh, materials to, um, to treat the wounds and bandage them, put them on his own donkey, walked beside the donkey while the, the wounded Jew was sitting on his donkey, made it, made it to an inn, nursed the guy through the night, and the next morning told the innkeeper, hey, you know, here's, here's 40 bucks, here's 50 bucks, whatever it was, the equivalent at that time. Take care of this guy, and if his bill runs higher because of the care you have to take for him, I'll pay the difference on the way back. And Yeshua said, who is, who is a neighbor to this guy? It wasn't the Levitical priest. It wasn't the, uh, the, the Levitical temple attendant. It was the Samaritan. It was the half-breed. That's what Yeshua considers true religion, not ritualistic service in the temple, although that is important. But what tra takes precedence is the is 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 human life. What takes precedence is service to your fellow man. God doesn't have to have your sacrifices or your ritual prayers or temple worship. That stuff's all well and good in its proper place and time. But what takes priority and precedence is the way you treat another human being. Life over law, and that's what Yeshua was was getting at. So what is true religion? Yeshua said to take care of the widows and the orphans. 
uh, to take care of the poor. That's 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 true religion right there. Uh, you know, that's that's what it's all about. It's not all about the prayers and the praise and worship and the songs and the the church or synagogue attendance or the you know laying of tefillin or putting on the prayer shawl or all these rituals or Sabbath candles, whatever. Coming down to brass tacks, it's how we treat and love one another, which truly shows that we are men and women of the Lord Most High. Hey, thanks for listening. Go out there and have a great day. Shalom. Shavuot Tov. Abrahamsdescendants.com, getting back to the first century in a 21st century way.